Over the past few years, we have been lucky enough to witness the development of such a huge range of subjects and disciplines, finding out more and filling in the blanks as we steadily answer more and more questions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries over a range of subject areas. Scientists say that a cosmic impact destroyed Jordanian city. I'm sure that plenty of us are familiar with the biblical story Dom, discussed in the book of Genesis. Sodom and Gomorrah, two towns known for their wickedness and sin, were destroyed by God. It is one of a number of Bible stories detailing God's anger that was provoked by sin. These two cities in particular were destroyed with a rain of fire and brimstone. Other details include angels saving Lot, though as he leaves with his two daughters, his wife is turned into a pillar of salt. Scientists have been studying the demise of an ancient city, Tal el Hammam, an archaeological site in Jordan, and this is where they may have found an astronomical explanation for this biblical tale. This newfound evidence is actually 3,600 years old, but it seems to suggest that Tal el Hammam was ruined by what is being described as a cosmic airburst. Some researchers, having found this evidence, think that the biblical story of Sodom could have been inspired by the celestial impact upon Tel al Hammam. After all, something from space that causes bricks and clay to melt does sound suspiciously similar to a rain of fire and brimstone. What was once pottery had been melted into glass, mud brick was described as bubbled, and building materials melted beneath a burn layer of five feet in depth. James Kennett, one author of the paper detailing the cosmic impact, said, We saw evidence for temperatures greater than 2,000 degrees Celsius. He continued to elaborate, saying that the biggest surprise in this discovery is the shocked quartz. This produces sand grains that can only form under intense amounts of pressure. Quartz is one of the hardest minerals. This is a rather rare occurrence. This was in keeping with cosmic airbursts from 1908 in Siberia, leading many to believe that Tal el Hammam also saw a cosmic airburst. Another noteworthy link between Sodom and Tal el Hammam is the salt. In the biblical tale, as Lot and his family are led away by angels, they are told not to turn around and look. His wife does, against the advice of the angels, and turns into a pillar of salt. Researchers found that nearby to the Dead Sea, there was an abnormal concentration of salt, suggesting there was an impact close by. Kennett explains that salt was thrown up due to the high impact pressures, possibly meaning the meteor hit the Dead Sea. So far, scientists have confirmed that the details in Genesis align with a cosmic airburst, and that currently the evidence at Tal el Hammam aligns with that of Sodom. Antarctica's ice shelf eroding Global warming is no new phenomenon, and the effects of it only seem to be getting worse, at least according to scientists who have been studying the cause of the massive A68 iceberg split that occurred in 2017. The alarming rift happened on Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf and resulted in an iceberg the size of Delaware splitting off from the main formation. This significant ice event was then thoroughly studied, and the cause was attributed to the thinning of the ice melange, which is a layer of slushy-like frozen water that typically seals any rifts that occur and keeps the ice shelf intact. Because this has huge implications for the severity of further impacts of global warming on the delicate Antarctic region, scientists and glaciologists quickly began studying the ice melange layer more closely and what they found was concerning. After careful analysis of 11 cracks in the Larsen Sea ice shelf, the same one that the A68 iceberg split from in 2017, they were able to conclude that the thinning ice melange was unable to keep up with the ice shelf widening one of the rifts in question from 249 feet to 367 feet and growing. The melange layer is a layer of muddy, frozen water that sits between the ice shelf and the ocean water that circulates beneath. A thick melange layer can help protect the ice shelf from rifts that could form, but when it thins, the much warmer ocean water hits the melange layer and causes rifts in the ice shelf above. 
This follows the hydrofactualization theory, which explains how water can penetrate ice shelf cracks and expand as it refreezes, causing large enough cracks to form in the ice shelf that massive icebergs break off. The ice melange works as a buffer to protect this action, but it appears to be thinning, leading to an increase in iceberg deliveries in Antarctica. The particularly concerning aspect of this discovery is that the ice shelves have been hypothesized to prevent glaciers from entering the ocean, and the continued fracturing of the ice shelf into glaciers means that the sea levels will likely rise much faster than anticipated as a result of global warming. The studies utilized observations from NASA's ice sheet and sea level system model with NASA's Operation Ice Bridge mission, as well as images captured from satellites of the formation of Antarctic icebergs. Eric Lignot, who co-authored the study that explored the reasoning behind the A68 iceberg split and the resulting consequences of the thinning ice melange, said in a statement that the thinning of the ice melange that glues large pieces of floating ice shelves is another way that can cause a rapid retreat of ice shelves in Antarctica due to climate change. With this in mind, we may need to rethink our estimates of the timing and extent of sea level rise due to the loss of polar ice which can be faster and more impactful than expected. For now, studies continue to monitor the concerning effects of climate change in Antarctica. Holy Grail of Shipwrecks Carrying Stash Worth Up to $17 Billion Shipwrecks are some of the most mysterious historical finds that provide insight into what life was like for sailors, as well as for the people of respective eras. The San Jose was a Spanish galleon ship that sank in 1708 during an unruly sea battle against the British in the Caribbean Sea. Over three centuries later, the San Jose was finally found in the depths. The long-lost ship was identified as the legendary San Jose by the bronze cannons it possessed. These cannons are undeniably gorgeous, with stunning decorative dolphins engraved in the now rusted bronze. Researchers used the Remus 6000, an underwater recording tool, to analyze the sunken ship. The Remus 6000 was able to get within 9.1 meters of the ship and take impressive photographs of the wreckage that allowed it to be adequately identified. Technically speaking, the ship was found and analyzed back in 2015 under the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, known as WHOI, but it was only recently that those involved with its discovery were permitted to release details of the ship's discovery. Permission was required from several other institutions, including the Maritime Archaeology Consultants, Switzerland AG, and the Colombian government, and obtaining all these permissions took many years. The San Jose was a ship meant to bring treasures from the New World back to Europe. It had bronze cannons, over 60 guns, and other defensive measures to protect it in battle. But the British Marine forces were too great for the ship and its crew to defeat. With it, the San Jose fell into the murky depths with treasures from Peru, estimated to be worth anywhere between $4 and $17 billion today, though it is not yet certain how many relics and treasures there are. During the time, Spain was fighting the war of Spanish succession against the English, with these treasures meant to aid Spain by increasing the country's wealth, thus allowing more funds for warships and weapons. The San Jose was supposed to have warship escorts, but in 1708, Admiral Jose Fernandez de Santillan made the choice to set sail without these warships, a decision that would cost him and his crew their lives. Over 500 men perished on the deck of the San Jose after the galleon burst into flames, scorching alive its crew before sinking. The San Jose is a ship of immense significance when it comes to both culture and history. The relics and artifacts that sunk along with it could provide further information about the economic state of Europe at the time. Furthermore, the story of the San Jose directly correlates with the relationships between European nations during the 18th century, especially that of England and Spain. The Colombian government has stated their plans to build a museum for the shipwreck in the near future, along with a conservation laboratory where the ship will be preserved along with its many contents all of which are fragile and require expert care to restore them and keep them from falling into disrepair. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.